Hey guys, Mark here from H2 Tackle and Outdoors. If you like cooking outside as well as I do, sooner or later you're going to get a Dutch oven. And once you do, you're going to want to cook over a campfire with it. You need one of these and you can build it yourself. It's a Dutch oven tripod. This is made out of stuff that I got from Menards. Really cheap. I have less than 10 bucks in this thing. You can buy them, they're expensive. Why do that when you can make your own? I'll show you how. We're going to start looking at the parts that I use to build the Dutch oven tripod. What you're going to need is three eye bolts, and these are going to, you're going to want these to be pretty long. The size really doesn't matter all that much. I got some heavy duty ones. Uh, the size, like I said, really doesn't matter. And the nuts that are on there, you can take those nuts off because you're not really going to need them. You can keep the nuts or whatever, but you really don't need them. Uh, I got five feet, uh, five foot conduit pieces. They come in five foot lengths at Menards, and it's half inch conduit. It's just regular electrical conduit pipe. And two heavy duty S hooks. The next thing we're going to do is take your conduit pipe and we're going to about 8 inches down from the top drill about a 1 8 inch hole through it. It doesn't really have to be exact if you don't have a 1 8 bit or just something that's really similar to that because we're going to put a wire through there. What that's going to do is to give this tripod a little bit of stability in case one of the legs gets kicked out from under it. It'll keep it together instead of the whole thing coming down into the fire and going all over the place. So get that hole drilled in there and uh, we'll go on to the next step. Now that we've got our holes drilled, you're going to want to run some, tor some sort of a wire through those three conduit pipes like that. I used a snare cable and a double ferrule, but uh, if you don't have any snare cable, you can use wire. Uh, I suppose you could probably use rope. The thing with using rope though is those holes tend to be a little bit jagged and a little bit sharp. I filed mine down with a file but if you use a rope or something it may have a tendency to cut that rope. But we want to put something through there as you see in the as you see in the picture to keep those together. Next what we would like to do is open up one of your eye bolts. Open up the eye so you can insert it through the other two so all three of them are connected like you see in the picture here this is where I probably would have done this different I would have gotten a less heavy duty eye bolt because those thick ones those thick heavy duty ones were extremely hard to open up I ended up putting it in the vise and uh, using like a cheater pole or something to bend it and uh, it it really was not that easy to do so if I had to do this all over again, or if I was going to build another one of these, I would use less heavy-duty eye bolts. But you want to open up one of the eye bolts and insert it through the other two, and then close it back up again so they're all connected just like this. Once you've got your eye bolts connected together, you're going to want to take one of your S-hooks and put it through one of the eye bolts like you can see in this picture here and you're going to want to put those eye bolts down into the conduit like it's showing in this picture. You notice now that the wire that connects the three conduit pipes together is going to add uh, stability in the case of uh, if one of the legs slips out from the side or something it'll has the other two to kind of hold it together instead of just collapsing if somebody kicks one of the legs or something. So you'll also, the same applies to these S-hooks they are uh, these were really heavy duty and these were really really hard to bend and open up and close so as I said with the last picture if you were uh, going to do this again I would definitely get some lighter duty S hooks and I bent these in my vise just like I kinda did the eye bolts but what you're gonna wanna do is uh, connect this and close it a little bit so it really doesn't slip off the top of that eye bolt Next, get about three feet of uh, chain. I, I call it swing set chain. It doesn't really have to be too terribly heavy duty of a chain. 
you just want to be able to can hold up your Dutch oven full of food. But uh, and then take one of the the last uh, S hook that you have and squeeze it shut around that chain. Take your chain and connect it to the S hook that is on the top connected to the eye bolts. Your Dutch oven tripod should now be pretty much complete. You can adjust the length of the chain by wrapping it around that S hook or hooking it up at the top. Once you get this put together you'll figure out how you can adjust the length of that chain. Once you get that done, set it up and test it out and make sure it's stable. Make sure your eye bolts are in there good enough in the top of the conduit and you are ready to start cooking.